Lisa's here, folding my t-shirts. <laughs> she wasn't happy with the way I kept them. <laughs> <laughs> Watch allows welcome to Oaks Wampum part five of the Leaf a Ratty Roaster, the music version. Now the music I'll be using for this is Drop Your John. It's a band I've recorded a couple of albums with and the whole of the Rat series featured Drop Your John. Now it's bluegrass, but it's like bluegrass mixed with horror and it's quite offensive and there's swearing in it. So if that's not your sort of music, you can watch the same video without music, just here. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with it. Right, so back on with the leap. So what I'm gonna do to start with is I'm gonna take this body off now because it's not joined in the middle anyway, but I'm gonna take all of this lot off and then I'm gonna weld this frame up because it's all just been tacked. I'll get this all welded up and bolted on. And with the body not on there, I can check everything's true. I've got to make the floor up for the back here so I can get a seat in it so I can have a dicky seat on him as well. It's a nice sunny day, it's a bit windy and it's a bit rainy. It was pouring down with rain just a minute ago. But we shall show you, it looks good though, doesn't it? Well, bless my balls, what's wrong with me? I'm gonna take my sister around the tree, gonna shoot my own, gonna feel her cup of bread. I'm all fucked up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, my hands are shaking and my knees are weak and I can't sit stand on my two right feet. You know what to do, cause I'm shit out of luck, I'm in bread. I kinda like it that way. I wonder if I could build a body like that. I don't know, kid. But you can really get the idea of how the seat's going there. You see the curve all the way. Pretty much it all. Well, where does that? This is a nice skeleton. Right, that's it. All bolted down and welded up. So I'm going to put this body back on again now. I've just been looking at this dicky seat idea. That's going to take a bit of doing, but I really need the body on there and then make the boot lid to make the rest of it, to be fair, because I don't know quite where it's going to go. Because it's now sorted. I'm all fucked up, all right. to this original body support bar thing and I've welded it all in together so it all connects up. Fun, 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 bang and the bang goes, grab up his gun, a poor little girl, do you fuck 
there's that bit of angle. We've got the plate, so I'll weld that onto there, then run a strap there, and that'd be that'd be super strong. This old front now with this cross section in has made it really stiff. I'm not going to weld any of it up for the minute. Just leave everything tacked until the body's fitted, and then I can get the exact right height for the steering. So I got a parcel in the post this week from Len Kowalsian. I hope I got your name right then. And he sent me this really, really cool brass dash plate. Now it says Palmer powered on it. We wondered if this was an Edwardian car Palmer, but I think what it actually is is probably a marine Palmer. Because if it's Palmer powered, it means it's got a Palmer engine. But that is a cool little dashboard, and I'm going to use that in the little single seater I think. Nice one, thanks again Len. We've got to sort this joint out here where the front is joined to the back. What I'm gonna do is put a bit of angle in here or something. Oh! Okay, so I clamp this on and I'm putting the curve back into this. That can match about there. drag it outside to make sure everything looks good and it does it all looks nice and square if you watch this edge against this edge watching the doors up it's absolutely rigid now right i'm gonna go backwards and forwards but i'm gonna carry on going forward i'm gonna do something right at the front just to hold it all in put another bracket right at the front i think bit blowy out there today, as well I'm in the garage. Right, so back on the angle one. Of this. Right, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to de attach this and then get this exactly in the right place and then I'll come back and work on that. Those two in there are going to have a bit of wood on so you can screw the bulkhead straight to it. So that's pretty cool. Just been contemplating where to put the battery in. I think I'm going to put them under the seat here, get them out of the way. But if I do that, I will put like a, a forklift charging plug somewhere underneath so you, if you've got a jump start or anything, just bang that in. And that'll make that easy. Once I get that bit done, then I can work on these sides and the edges and work on the boot. The boot I kind of sussed out now, I think. I've never had a car with a dicky seat. And I've always fancied one. I want to go in it than to be driving it. But I know I complain about the rain, but this car's just a little bit big for the garage. The rat was all right in here, but even that, you couldn't move. If I start the new project, which won't be long, as soon as this thing's trundling down the road, I'm going to be pulling the Austin Big 7 chassis over, and that's tiny. All that project's going to be is a single-seater with a Harley-Davidson motor, and I want to keep it as light as possible, 250 kilos if I can get it. The thing is, with that frame, it's got no V5, so it's got no way of going on the road, so... I'm going to build it exactly 
as I want to. And that's the plan. Oh, come on, man. You're getting on my nerves now. Come on, pretty piggy, bend down in the grass. release this back this side will just wants to come over there just a tiny bit and it levels everything right up but before I carry on with that what I'm gonna do is make a, a piece here like a square to make the bottom and, and make it so it bolts on through these two bolt holes here then that will get the back exactly in the right place and then I can finish this top bit I think it's gonna be an uneven boot meaning it's smaller at the top than the bottom but I think that look quite funky so I went over and got a bit of Glastonbury stool still. Okay, so the bottom one's going to sit like that. I need to make it sit at that angle. Okay, that's the back nice and solid. Right, so onto the tip jar, as I missed it on the last video, and this week is going to be kindly read by the lovely Lisa. Oh yeah, I want to say thanks to Roger Davies, Gabor Varga, Stefan Mike, Nathan Tasker, Kev Castley, and Mark Gervais. And not forgetting our man down under, Chris Blades. Range man! Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It looks as though the houses are... Uh, 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 been boiled, you know what I mean? Yeah, it looks cool, man. And Mary Jane's doing it as well. The leaf's not, though, the leaf just looks wet. Beautiful day today, but it won't be in a minute. It's been on and off like this all day. So, continuing on with this back, I kind of like the way I cut this one in. I'm not sure quite how to finish them yet. I might put her. But I'm going to whop them off there anyway because I don't want a mini layer in the chassis. And then I've got to copy that cut and put it here. This is going to be a bit tricky because there's wood inside, but if I cut the bottom off, I can attack it up that way, so... That's what i got to do. Wood that i got to show. Probably just wants a little curve on it like that, doesn't it? I might, might bring that round. I don't really want to put a piece on the bottom of it because dirt and that. Just brings a little curl in at the bottom. Right, these original shop men, so I'm not going to be using those. So I'm going to whip them off so I can start thinking about this floor. When I was a child, my idea of fun was to pull the legs of spiders and beat them in the sun. But as I grew up, I moved on to other things like catching it. For support across this centre, I'm going to run another bar off of this shock absorber mount. But every now and then I just needed a fix, so I go down to the riverbank to get my kicks, and I put me a fish, maybe a nice fat trap, and lay it on the bank and watch it slowly flap about. So to continue on with this dicky seat, I need to fit the fuel tank. This is the fuel tank I'm using for the minute. This was the original one from the rat. And it's still in really good nick, actually. I've just built some of it out, and it's it's like ginger, horrible stuff. But 
It's not leaked the whole time I've had it. So I'm gonna put it in just for a minute, just behind the seat. Diesel. I think someone's just dieseled up this tank. It's kept it from rusting. Right now, I'll be able to see if my feet can fit underneath. That's the idea. Just. so it's captive so it's going to be easy to bolt in so I don't have to get underneath. So this is what I've been doing. This is supported at the sides here and in the middle. I put this bit of timber along the back just to bring it up a little bit for clearance. Also put a bit of rigidity in it. Working from the back here, what I've done, the bottom angle takes the floor of the boot and then it's gonna come up here and roll at this curve right the way down to make the rear balance as such. In here, when I cut the shock mounts off, I didn't cut them all off, I left the, just the bottom bit. So what I'll probably do is just leave that because it just looks like it would have done. I'm going to have to fit shock absorbers to this. And they're most likely going to be coming up straight here as tubes. So we're not quite done there yet. But then I put the next one in. And this means when you're getting in and out, you're always on it. And on that, I've put these tabs. These are going to be ground back, obviously, but put these tabs running down. Now with all the wood in. These tabs have got, got threads on, so that'll just be bolted down onto there. I'm gonna put another one in the middle as well. The bottoms are gonna be screwed. I'm going to be doing a lot of finishing on these, these will be a bit tighter and I'm going to use a bit of channel. This was off the, uh, this was off the hook cab actually from the seat. Because I've had to do this in two so it goes right under. I'm just having a join there. I'm going to make these removable because the fuel tank idea, it was just not enough room so I've decided to not use that tank. I want to get myself an oval tank. I'll go back to about here, back to here. But there you are, nice and solid. And now, B 
beauty with this is as well. There's a bit of storage down there to take a suitcase and fit other stuff up here. The thing I am probably going to do is make the, the boot lid just probably to about here, just a little bit longer. Because we've lost some out of the bottom, so I want to get it back. It'll make it easier getting your legs in there, but I think probably to there. There you go, I'm really pleased with the way this body's come out. It's tightened everything up, it's taken the proper shape now, it's really starting to starting to get there. My mate Paul came around this morning and he said to me, it looks like a completely different thing, you have to see it in the person to really appreciate the difference it was from Monday to today. So next time I'm going to make these pieces up and they come around, something like that. And i got the same to do this side. I've also got to make some inner arches for this. A little bit of finishing to do round here. I've got to hang the doors. I'm going to go and see a heating specialist about trying to get this radiator sorted because that outlet there wants coming out here because it's got to go to there. And this outlet here, it wants to go into here so it wants making smaller and putting on this. Also I've got to get a filler neck and check for soundness. A few little wads and sods to finish in here bit later on I'm going to be plying the side. So next time it's going to be mainly bodywork. I'm going to have to make a boot lid, get the doors to fit, finish off the odd bits and pieces here, there and everywhere, and then get this radiator sorted. But if you want to see me do any of this, you're going to have to tune in next time. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the old subscribe button. If you like the video, please leave me a comment and a like. If you're feeling flush, pop over to the tip jar, or better still, buy one of my lovely Oak Swamp t-shirts. And I will catch you dudes next time. Hang loose.